What's going on YouTube, ADC Art Attack here and welcome back to a brand new drawing video. In today's video, I'll be drawing with my left and my right hand. Yes, I know, the ring is on the right hand side. God, I'm getting so many comments about this. Guys, I live in Germany, I was married in Germany and it is tradition to wear the ring on the right hand. That is why it's on my right hand. I am married. It's not fake and the camera's not flipped. There. But hopefully this makes it better for you. Ooh. Bob. So, drawing with my left and right hand, what does that involve? Well, I'm gonna be drawing with my left and right hand. Duh. However, there are rules. Now, I will go into those rules during the drawing process, so I do hope you enjoy that, and with all that being said, enjoy the process. And if you do find you are enjoying today's video, then leave a like with either your left or your right hand. Either way is okay. But I would love some comments, so at the end of the video, please leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these versions you like, take into consideration that I am using my left and my right hand, and just let me know all in all, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So, let's roll the video! Oh, and I should mention, for those who don't know, I'm right-handed, so... Okay, so here we are side by side drawing. Now, this is something I've wanted to do for a while. I love running two clips at the same time next to each other. I think it just provides a really nice entertaining dynamic, just having the left hand and the right hand playing simultaneously. What you're seeing me do right here is just some rough guidelines and the rough guidelines actually cater towards the left hand side because they are messy lines. But as we move on to refining these lines, this is where we notice the strength of the right hand being a little bit more comfortable in holding this pencil. I'm a little bit more in control of it. As you can see, I'm moving my hand up and down the pencil. I'm free with it. My fingers move around a little bit more. With the left hand side, I'm very firm with that grip and I'm not really moving my fingers at all along that pencil. I've just got it held and that's the way we're holding it. That's it. But the drawings are coming out pretty nice both sides and I would actually say that the left side isn't really too far or really much different behind the right hand side. I think they are comfortably working together here and it looks great. I should probably mention at this point uh, the reason my camera may slightly move on the left hand side. Uh, it only does it for like this one clip and that's just because I'm an idiot. I didn't look, like I totally forgot to look at the camera to make sure everything was going okay and it wasn't. It was moving, like the camera was doing stuff it shouldn't be doing and that's what happened. So I'm sorry about that, but I kind of, I don't do it again, I don't think, so I'm sorry. But let's finish up sketching and then we'll get on to the inking phase and um, then we'll move on to the colouring. But before then, let's just um, finish this and I'll see you in a moment, okay? And here we are with the inking phase. Now, this is the part that I was scared of. Like, I was really nervous about this because I thought the drawings were coming out pretty good. And you know, the right hand side is just the right hand side. I'm pretty comfortable with drawing. So I wasn't too nervous about that because I just redo it if anything happened. But the left hand side, I was not doing that again. Like, no way, Jose. It was not happening because my left hand was in pain. It was really, really hurting. Like, I don't use my left hand, like, at all. So, I might as well just cut it off because I just don't use it. But when I was drawing with it, it started to cramp up and it was like really painful. But yeah, so the inking phase didn't really turn out too bad actually. I was a little bit shaky with my left hand side versus the right, that was natural. But my inking style is quite line variation heavy. So even if I did make a mistake or squiggly line, I was able to kind of fix them. I mean, not all the time, but sometimes I was able to. So it didn't look too bad by the end, as you'll see. Let's just finish this quickly and then we'll, we'll have a look at that.
What did I say? It doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, left hand side is kind of close to the right hand side. There's the accuracy is the best part, I think. And um, you probably notice, like, cause you you most probably if you know Pokemon, you know this reference. It came from the Pokedex. And uh, yeah, but I had to change the wings because I couldn't have that wingspan on this sheet of paper that I was drawing on. You know, it just wouldn't look right and it wouldn't fit in the paper. You'd have to be like super duper micro, which no one wants to watch. But yeah, so I like it and it's going well so far. Hand is in terrible pain, but we're going to move on to coloring now, which is going to be equally as fun. And uh, let's explain the reasons why we're drawing Charizard and what kind of style we're going to be using today. So as we move on to coloring, um, yeah, Charizard. Why am I doing Charizard? Well, Charizard is a Pokemon, if you didn't know that. And he's a fire type Pokemon. And I figured fire is gonna be cool for both hands. Like left and right, it's not really favoring either hand because fire is pretty difficult to draw. And obviously this is like not gonna be realistic fire, but it's sort of gonna have a shading pattern to it. I've chosen to color the character in a different style than usual. It's not going to be clean by any stretch of the imagination. This is going to be quite a messy style, but the reason I'm doing that is because one, it's quite dynamic and it kind of works with that fire. You know, the, the, the kind of dark shadows that I'm going to be doing, which is another reason why I chose Charizard, because his fire is going to, you know, heavily accommodate going crazy with shading, which is, I love shading. So that's going to be cool. But yeah, the, sh the shadow style that I'm doing here, the shading style isn't clean and it's just free, which I think is going to give the left hand a bit of an upper hand because, ha, because, uh, <laughs> oh my God. But because my right hand, I'm very, you know, I'm clean. I'm very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a clean artist. I, I mean, my workspace is messy, but I'm a clean artist. I like to make things crisp and I like to be smooth with things. So doing a messy style like this is going to drive me crazy. Um, when doing it with my right hand because I'm just going to be inclined to fix up spaces But with the left hand, I, I don't have that mindset with my left hand It's a completely different mindset, you know, and and obviously that is natural you, your brain is it works in different ways It's a different part of your brain So my left hand is kind of wired differently and when I use my left hand I am I'm definitely more comfortable in being free with it. So I'm very curious to see how this style is gonna work I mean, I just think it's going to favor the left hand a bit more, but uh, we'll see how it goes Uh, as for the colors I'm using today, because you're probably going to want to know what colors they are, I'm only going to tell you the body colors, because it's like, he's mostly just an orange kind of guy. So I'm using Amber as the base tone, Pumpkin for the second tone. Uh, what am I using? Bright orange, burnt orange, and then uh, like a shade of brown, like cocoa or any shade of brown or dark gray would do really for the dark shadow. It doesn't really matter too much. The darkest shadow doesn't really matter. Just get like a really dark color and, and that would work. It, it doesn't even have to be... It could be purple. It probably won't work with purple. Don't use purple, but use like any kind of dark color. It would kind of work. Maybe. So what else can I say about this? Um, I mean, I'm probably going to shut up in a moment, but I should say that I did apply a limitation on the time limit of this because I knew that my left hand was going to be in agony and I wanted it to be fair. So I wanted both times to be around the same. So I will go into at the end of this video exactly how long it took for me to do this um, from both hands point of view. And yeah, I mean, I'll just save that for the end just for like, you know, excitement. But hey, I think you're going to be surprised at results anyway. I think you're really going to like the results of this drawing. So stick around, enjoy the video because I'm going to sign off now. I'm just going to like shut up and let you enjoy this. I do think you will. And um, outside of that, there's really not much more to say. So I'll see you in a moment, I guess. Um, yeah, enjoy.
And there we have it. We are complete with these drawings. Yes, I say drawings because I finally did two drawings in one video next to each other. What do you think of them? I am just chair. I am shocked. Like, seriously. I think, well, I'm going to say which side I prefer first. And um, I'd love to read your comments. So I really want to see some comments down below. Let me know which side you like. And, you know, maybe a secondary comment saying, taking into consideration which one you prefer based on that. So, yeah, I'm going to say my left-hand side. I think my left hand just crushed it. And I ain't even saying that based on the fact that just I'm not left-handed. I just think it looks better. I think the style that I chose to work today suits that sort of messy, rough style. Whereas my right hand, I knew I'd do it. Subconsciously, I was trying so hard to clean it up. And it's just not meant for that. I wasn't trying to do that clean style. And it just didn't work in what I was doing. So yeah, all day, left hand dominated. I think my left hand crushed my right hand in this one. But I can't complain. Now, the moment of truth is, uh, how long did it take? Well, this is where things get quite shocking because I wanted to keep this at two hours. I didn't want to go over two hours. Unfortunately, I did do that. The right-hand side took me two hours and 40 minutes. That's pretty okay. I mean, it's not bad for the results I've got. Remember, my right hand is a strong hand, right? And I've been drawing with that for like 20 years now. Um, that took two hours and 40 minutes, while my left hand took two hours and 30 minutes. So I was actually 10 minutes faster with my left hand. I'll be honest, I actually thought my right hand was going to be longer, but I guess not. So yeah. So with all that being said, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching this video. I thank you all so much for sticking with me and for subscribing. If you're new around here, consider subscribing because that would be cool. But yeah, just everyone's been so nice lately and it's just been an incredible journey. Thank you all. Love your video ideas. Keep them coming down below and uh, keep an eye out for the community posts because I like to engage with all of you and just, you know, bounce ideas around with you. So I will see you in the next video from myself and from Bob. Take care. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Have a nice toilet if you're watching this on the toilet enjoy that and i'll see you next time bye bye